South America is on the edge of a massive transformation, with several large-scale projects underway that are going to reshape the continent's infrastructure and boost its economy. From the Hidro Tiguano Dam in Colombia, which will provide power to millions, to metro expansions and cross-country railways, these projects are designed to improve regional connections and trade across borders. Today at Ultimate Mega Builds, we will look into South America's most expensive mega projects and what they mean for the region's future growth. Number 1. Hidro Tiguana Dam, Colombia The Hidro Tiguana Dam is Colombia's largest and most important hydropower project, with a budget of $4 billion. Once fully operational, it will generate about 2,400 megawatts of electricity, which is nearly 17% of Colombia's total power supply. Located on the Cauca River in the Antioquia region, this project is very important for Colombia's renewable energy strategy and is expected to play a major role in reducing the country's reliance on fossil fuels. The dam is an earth core rock filled structure, towering at 225 meters and creating a reservoir that stretches 79 kilometers. This reservoir has a storage capacity of 2,720 million cubic meters, making it a major resource for electricity generation. The dam's eight Francis turbines will generate clean energy to power millions of homes across the country. However, the road to completion has not been easy. The Hidro Tiguano project has faced numerous setbacks, including severe landslides in 2018, which damaged key infrastructure and led to major delays. Flooding and construction accidents also caused extensive damage to the facility, forcing evacuations of nearby communities and resulting in additional costs. The project has also been at the center of political disputes and legal challenges, further complicating its progress. Despite these challenges, the dam is now in its final phases, with 65% of the construction complete. It is expected to be fully operational by 2025, after years of delays. Once finished, Hidro Tiguano will increase Colombia's renewable energy capacity while also reducing greenhouse gas emissions by a huge margin. This project is seen as a major aspect of the country's efforts to transition towards sustainable energy and secure long-term energy stability. Number 2. Line 1 Metro, Lima, Peru This is Peru's biggest urban infrastructure project, with a price tag of $5.3 billion. It's all about modernizing the city's outdated transportation system and offering people a faster way to get around. The metro stretches over 34 kilometers and has 26 stations, portent areas of the capital, from Via El Salvador in the south to San Juan Lurigancho in the north. Lima is known for its heavy traffic, and getting across the city can take two hours or more by car. The new metro line is expected to cut that travel time down to under an hour, which will be a game changer for daily commuters. It is designed to handle millions of passengers a year, making it a huge boost for public transportation in the city. The project is still under construction, but the first phase is set to be up and running by 2026. Once fully completed within the decade, the metro will make getting around Lima a lot more efficient. Plus, the government is already looking at expanding the network with more lines in the future to reach even more areas, which will further improve connectivity across the city. By the time it is done, Line 1 Metro will reduce travel time and also help solve Lima's traffic problems, making daily commutes quicker and easier for everyone. Number 3. The Central Bi-Oceanic Railway Corridor, Brazil, Bolivia, Peru The Central Bi-Oceanic Railway Corridor is an extensive project with a cost estimated between 10 to 15 billion dollars. Once completed, this massive railway will connect the Atlantic and Pacific coasts of South America, linking the port of Santos in Brazil to the port of Ilo in Peru. The total length of the railway will stretch over 3,750 kilometers, passing through Bolivia along the way. This project will boost trade efficiency between the three countries by creating a quicker and cheaper route for transporting goods. Right now, much of the trade relies on maritime routes that take weeks. The Bioceanic Railway is expected to cut transportation times by almost two weeks, making it a game-changer for industries in Brazil, Bolivia, and Peru. It will also provide landlocked Bolivia with direct access to global trade routes, 
significantly improving its economic opportunities. In terms of capacity, the railway will be able to handle around 10 million tons of freight annually, and for passenger services, it is projected to carry 6 million passengers each year. These numbers are expected to grow noticeably over the years, with potential to double by 2025. The project is also drawing global attention, with countries like China, Germany and Switzerland showing interest in funding and supporting it. However, it faces multiple challenges. Coordinating between three countries with different regulations, along with political tensions, has slowed progress. On top of that, Bolivia needs to build or upgrade about 1,500 kilometers of tracks, while Brazil has to modernize 1,900 kilometers of its railway. Though still in the early stages, the Central Bioceanic Railway Corridor could transform trade and transportation in South America. Number 4. Port of Chancay, Peru Located about 80 kilometers north of Lima, the Port of Chancay is a $3.6 billion deep water port project that is expected to become a major gateway for trade between South America and Asia. Funded largely by China's state-owned Costco Shipping, which holds a 60% stake, this port is an important part of China's Belt and Road Initiative, aiming to reduce shipping times and boost economic ties between Peru and Asia. Once completed, the port will cover an area of 1,000 hectares and will be able to accommodate some of the world's largest container ships, with a capacity of 21,000 TEUs 20 -foot equivalent units. This will enhance Peru's ability to export goods like copper, minerals, and other raw materials to Asian markets. The new port is expected to cut shipping time between Peru and China by as much as 15 days, making it a faster and more efficient trade route compared to traditional maritime paths. The port of Chiangkai also includes advanced infrastructure such as jetties, storage areas for bulk and roll-on off-cargo, and even a 1.8 km tunnel dedicated to cargo transportation. This tunnel will link the port to nearby roads, ensuring smooth transit for goods coming in and out of the port. During its construction phase, the project is expected to create 7,500 jobs, contributing to the local economy. However, the project has raised concerns over China's growing influence in Latin America. Some fear that China's deep involvement in such projects could give it more control over regional trade, raising geopolitical issues, particularly with the United States. Construction of the port began in 2019, and the first phase is scheduled for completion by late 2024. Number 5. Sao Paulo Metro Line Expansion, Brazil this is a $6.3 billion project, making it one of the largest urban infrastructure projects in Latin America. This expansion is designed to ease the city's traffic congestion and improve daily commutes for millions of residents. Sao Paulo, with its traffic jams, needs this upgrade to its public transit system. The project includes the construction of Line 6, also known as the University Line, and the extension of Line 2. Line 6 is a fully autonomous line that will be 15 kilometers long, with 15 stations connecting the northern Brazilian Jenny neighborhood to the central São Joaquim station. Once complete, this line is expected to serve around 630,000 passengers daily, reducing travel times across the city from 1.5 hours by bus to just 23 minutes. The extension of Line 2 will add 8.4 kilometers and 8 new stations, further improving connectivity across Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo's metro system already serves 5.5 million people every day, and this expansion will improve that capacity to a great extent. The construction of Line 6 is also expected to generate around 9,000 jobs during the building phase, giving the city an economic boost alongside its transportation improvements. Construction of the new lines began in 2020, and the entire expansion is expected to be operational by 2027. Once completed, this project will provide faster commutes while also reducing pollution by encouraging more people to use public transport instead of cars. Well, there you have it, South America's most expensive mega projects. Let us know what you think about these projects, and don't forget to subscribe to Ultimate Mega Builds for more fascinating projects around the world. We'll be back soon with another mind-blowing video.